What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on the Chao again. Last week we made our beautiful engine stand and now we can work on it. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna port match the crankcase to the new cylinder. Now with the last cylinder, it was already port matched exactly as it should be 16 years ago but with this cylinder kit it doesn't line up that good so today i'm gonna grind away some metal because i checked and i can grind it a little bit so it is port matching the way i want it to now is this gonna make a huge difference maybe maybe not it's just we're gonna have a better flow in our engine and that is always good. Now normally what you would do if you are port matching, you will split the crankcase and port match it that way, put it back together, port match it and, and make it all good. But on this engine, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna split the crankcase because I don't have a gasket for it and I don't wanna go to all that hassle. So I'm gonna jump some hoops to make it work, to make it safe to work, because we're gonna take off metal and we don't want to get metal inside the crankcase. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but it's a good idea. So what we're first gonna do, we're, we're gonna take off some stuff. We're gonna take off the head, the cylinder, the carb, the air filter, and this plate back here. So we have better access to the crankcase ports. So let's start stripping down. Okay, I cleaned the whole surface. Now let's clock this up. Make sure that there is no metal dust going inside of here because we don't want that. So what I got, I got some paper towel and I got some Play-Doh. So first, I'm just gonna stuff it with a paper towel so I don't get any Play-Doh in there. Looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna make sure the crankshaft stays in one position. Okay, that's not going anywhere. And now let's fill it up with Play-Doh. Here it is, no dirt can go in there, so it's nice and perfect. Now, let's get the gasket on there. And as you can see, we have a little bit of room of grinding. Now I'm just gonna trace it over with this core and see how it looks, how much we can take off. Now let's try to keep it steady. Okay, there's a little bit here we can take off and over here. So as you can see here, I'm coming really close to that line. So I'm going to keep my distance a little bit from that. Here it's okay, but it's not perfect. But yeah, we're going to see how it goes. I'm just going to grind away and uh, yeah, hopefully it comes out good. So this is the battlefield from grinding away. 
I'm all done, but of course, with stuff like this, there's always problems. So this is my first grinding away, and it looks nice and perfect, smooth, good transition, everything perfect. But when we look at here, we got a hole. Now I don't have extreme angles, but because it's so thin right here, I grind it through it. Oh no, project lost. Put it in the scrap bin. Nothing can work again now. Nah, that's not what happened. I was expecting stuff like this to happen with modifications like this. It, it's in the ballpark that that's gonna happen. I mean, it's a standard crankcase and we want to put on a bigger cylinder. So stuff like this can happen. This is not the extreme form that I ever saw on this. Lots of people that do more extreme stuff like this and make it so much better that they have to like recreate the crankcase. So it's not a big deal. It's it's an inconvenient. I rather had it all smooth and, and nothing needs to be filled up. But stuff like this happens. If you want performance, hey, that's the name of the game. Now I don't have the right tool to fix this problem right away. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. Stores are not open. So big bummer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take home the engine and on Monday I'm gonna go to the store, get the product that I need, fill it up and make it good again. We will fix it. So let's jump over when I got all the parts and I'm ready to fix it. So we are back home. I got the engine, I got the stator off and I got the product that I need to patch the hole. So that is what we're gonna do. But first we're gonna need to do some cleanup because I, I want the crankcase to be as clean as possible when I apply this. So let's repair this engine that we can still run it. Now here is the hole. I'm just gonna go over it with a Dremel tool and a brush and make it clean. Okay, looks pretty clean. Uh, the inside as well. Now I got some rough sanding paper. Now I'm just gonna yeah, scuff it up a little bit so the material has a little bit of a bite, a mechanical bond. Now I'm just gonna degrease it with some alcohol. Look at how dirty the inside. Still dirty. Looks perfect. Now Let's read the instructions. It doesn't see how to apply it, but maybe on the inside it will. I saw online that you need to degrease your knife that you are cutting with. So we're just gonna do that. It's a mess over here. <laughs> okay, now, this one's dirty. Fresh gloves. Whew. This stuff smells. Okay, let's cut off a little piece. Don't need that much. Roll this back up. Now we have to make this a uniform color. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's just apply some. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles. Got some on the inside. I'm sorry if you guys can't see but I want to be quick on this. Now this is what it looks like. You'll have to wait until it's hardened. But I think I have a good coverage on the inside as well. I'm still gonna grind that down. But yeah, we will see how it turns out. So the hole is fixed. Now I still need to know if I can put this back on. I'm probably gonna need to do some grinding. But for now, it looks pretty good. I got a good coverage of this part. So I'm happy with it. Also the inside I'm gonna have to grind out to make it better flowing, not go as crazy as I did before. So this is my first experience working with this Loctite EA 
3463. I'm hoping it works because I don't want to buy another crankcase. I don't want to go to all that trouble, but we will see if it works. It's all an experiment. Now, because I want it to be as hard as possible, I'm going to let it dry. Don't know if I'm going to make a video of it next week, but I will keep you posted on Instagram with pictures. So I'm going to let this dry, give it time to cure. We will continue this on a later date. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and on Instagram, and I will see you in the next one.